Hello friends, welcome to MS50 webcast. In today's video demonstration, we are going to see how to disable auto run or auto play in Windows computer by using group policy. The auto run feature in Windows allows removable devices like CDs and flash drives to auto execute an application when they are inserted. An example would be inserting an application CD into your optical drive and the setup program will automatically start up. Let's see on our Windows 7 computer. Let's click on device and select the ISO image. And as you can see, the setup program will automatically started with the help of autoplay. This is accomplished by the use of an autorun.inf file in the root of the removable media that directs Windows as to what it is supposed to execute. Unfortunately, in the last couple of years, it has been increasingly popular for attackers to call malicious code by inserting or modifying the autorun.inf on the infected flash drive, for example. This makes it extremely easy for malware to spread through removable media because it can be installed by simply plugging the device in. Most current virus scan products will automatically clean removable media when it's inserted. However, in the case of brand new virus that cannot be detected yet, this won't help you. The best solution is to simply disable the auto run feature so that even if you do plug an infected device into your machine, the malicious code won't run automatically. The obvious downside of the doing this is that you will now need to start set a program or a audio series manually when you insert them into your computer. You can accomplish this by modifying the local policy on your individual machine or for your entire domain, you can use group policy. For this demonstration, I have a one domain controller running on a Windows Server 2012 R2 Data Center Evolution Edition and we have a one client computer that is part of our domain running Windows 7 Ultimate Edition. The group policy to disable auto run or auto play will be created on a domain controller and we will be applying it on our OU MyLab clients containing the computer accounts. So let's open Active Directory users since computers and as you can see I have a OU named MyLab clients and under this OU I have a one client computer named SRT-CLI02. We want to attach the GPU to our OU named MyLab Clients. On the server manager console, let's click on a tools and select group policy management. On a group policy management console, expand your forest, expand your domain, expand your domain name and select the OU. In my case, that is MyLab Clients. Right click on this OU and select create a GPO in this domain and link it here. Now let's specify one name to our GPU. In my case, I'm going to give the name Disable Autoplay. Let's click on OK button and now new GPU is like an empty template. Therefore, we have to edit and define the settings to make GPU works. Expand your OU and select the newly created GPU. Right click on it and select edit button. On a group policy management editor console, under computer configuration, expand policies expand administrative templates, then expand Windows components and here you can see autoplay policies. Click on autoplay policies and here you will see total 4 settings. Now select turn off autoplay and double click on it. Now select enable and select turn off autoplay on all drives. Here you can see a brief overview information about this policy. These policy settings allows you to turn off the auto play feature. Let's click on apply and let's click on OK. Now once you set the policy, let's close the group policy management editor console. Let's close the group policy management console as well. Now to test the result, let's go on a client computer. Let's perform a manually group policy update on a client computer by using command gp update slash force and then press enter key. As you can see, the group policy has been updated successfully on this computer. Let's restart our client computer because we just configured a computer-based policy. 
Once your client computer restart, let's again log in to our client computer. Let's connect the setup disk again. Let's click on device, select optical drives and select the ISO image. Now, as you can see, the auto run or autoplay feature has been completely disabled for all users and for all drives that connects to your machine. So this is the way how we can disable auto run or autoplay feature via group policy. That's it for this video demonstration. Thanks for watching this video.